lot to me because all the schools get together and worship God together and we really just proclaim our faith for the Lord and I just it really helps me in my walk with Christ and I'm sure it helps many other people and I just like how we all just get together and help each other. Well, I think the Fields of Faith is an opportunity for, for Christians in high school and in areas where they can influence others, can get the opportunity to influence others in other high schools that, they're, that are their age and those kind of things. So it's a great opportunity to reach out and share God's word to others. I love Fields of Faith. It means so much to me because it's a time where everybody can come together no matter where you go to school and it's just a time of love and faith and community and you don't have to be afraid to talk to people and like if you need the help people are there for you. It's a great environment. I've been doing this for two years and I just love hearing who speaks every single year and listening to the music and it's just the best thing to do. has come, the old is gone, and the new is here. And I think it's just really cool to see where you were before you accepted God, and where you are now, and the direction that you're heading. Thank you. One year, you have become a pastor and been one ever since in California. He said the reason that they will never make it into heaven, because their faith was in a prayer, not in Jesus. You guys, for me personally, the blindfold came off. I immediately knew why for six straight months at church, I kept wanting to go down front and talk to the pastor when the invitation was given at the end of the service. And I knew that I had never put my faith in Christ. I had only played games just like the Roman soldiers did at the foot of the cross. I had said the words of a prayer, but when I said them, it was to make my grandmother happy. I had no clue who Jesus was at that time, and I definitely didn't understand what sin was. I knew my grandmother was, and it's something she wanted me to do, so I did it. And that night, after everything was over with the worship service, with the group that I was with and the guys in the little dorm that we were in, we had a chance to share if we'd learned anything. I said, guys, I just discovered something about myself. I'm not a Christian. I thought I was. That's a weed clap. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. All right. Keep on coming down. I am so proud of y'all. I mean, it's one thing to make a stand when you're in church. Y'all are in football stadium. But the cool thing is you're surrounded by a bunch of brothers and sisters in Christ that are very excited for what guys to do. 